we can go ahead and go through these celebrity picks. Now, these celebrity picks were posted by uh, House of Highlights, I believe. And they went ahead and they asked their popular followers who they thought was going to end up winning the um, winning the finals, who would um, match up in the finals, as well as their pick for the MVP. And we're going to start with the NBA players because I feel like that's, you know, most important. But I just wanted you guys to know exactly where these celebrities were taken from and give credit to House of Highlights for doing this as well. You can go ahead and check their Instagram post if you're interested. But Devin Booker is um, was the first celebrity that they posted about. And his pick for the MVP is uh, not himself. A lot of people would, you'd be surprised, like you'd think that it would be himself that would pick himself, like he would pick himself for the MVP. And there's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. I think that if he were to pick himself to win the MVP, that just shows incredible confidence in his game and incredible confidence in his team as well, because he ex also expects his team to be a very solid team. You have to be a good team and you have to be a top team in order to win the MVP. But he didn't pick himself. He instead picked Kevin Durant to win the MVP and while I do think that it, it, there's a chance I do think it's also a very low chance that that ends up happening because this Suns team it's really its biggest strengths are their three core players in Kevin Durant Devin Booker and Bradley Beal and the rest of the lineup is you know they're fantastic role players as well and but the Again, it's like you can make the argument that this is a failed super team. I think this is just a very talented team with talented isolation players. And I mean, if you want to call it a super team, I call it a failed super team considering how, you know, everyone sort of expected the Suns to make the finals a long time ago and then they ended up choking in their home court against the Denver Nuggets. And really uh, picking Kevin Durant to win the MVP it's, I wouldn't say it's a bad pick. It's definitely far from the worst pick, but there's other players that are lined up before him to win the MVP than Kevin Durant, especially for this season. And I also don't really see the Suns being able to actually be a high seed and a high enough seed in order for Kevin Durant to actually even win um, the MVP. And Crucial PG's in the chat. Um, hey, Nelson, any opinions on Daniel Jones? I do not talk about football on this podcast. So if you really want Giants' opinions on Daniel Jones, I recommend listening to the football podcast that streams directly before my podcast, as well as the, I believe we have several other sports podcasts as well. One of the hosts, Jeremy, is also a Giants fan. So if you want his opinions on Daniel Jones, you can go ahead and ask him. I can't talk about that. This is a basketball podcast, and we're going to keep it as a basketball podcast. So, as um, and for the for his pick on who is going to win or who's going to be in the finals, he obviously picked his own team and the Boston Celtics to make it to the finals, and he picked the Suns in winning the finals. Now that is definitely not going to happen. If the Suns match up against the Celtics in the finals by some miracle, the Suns manage to pull through and go all the way to the finals. That team is not enough to be able to go up against the Boston Celtics and the matchups that they have because they have perimeter defenders at ev practically every single position at the one through the four, meaning they have solid enough defenders to be able to guard Kevin Durant, solid enough defenders to guard Devin Booker, and even Bradley Beal. And when you have that kind of matchup, I don't really think it's ideal for the Suns to be the favorites in that kind of matchup. I mean, Jason Tatum can guard, well, I, it's very difficult to guard Kevin Durant, but Jason Tatum could probably do a good job, a decent job. I'm actually going to give Kevin Durant some credit here because he's ridiculous. And I'm he, he could do a decent job in slowing Kevin Durant down. Really, the matchup that I think is either going to get exploited or going to get abused is whoever is going to match up against Bradley Beal. I feel like Derek White and Drew Holiday are a very good matchup against Bradley Beal, and they can slow Bradley Beal down to a huge halt, especially considering how mediocre Bradley Beal played in the previous postseason. And 
Devin Booker, I mean, Drew Holiday was guarding Devin Booker in one finals matchup, and Devin Booker ended up dropping 40 points in several games. Didn't end up winning, but still ended up dropping several points, and I believe he had like two 40-point games in that fi- in that finals matchup. So I don't really think the... If it was the Suns going up against the Celtics, I don't think the Suns have a remote chance of even winning in that matchup. And... Another player that gave his predictions was Dwight Howard, and he predicted that the MVP for this season was going to be Joel Embiid. I completely disagree with that. Like, There's no way that Joel Embiid is going to end up winning an MVP over somebody like Jokic. I just don't see that happening at all. And the only reason why he even won the MVP over Jokic that one time was because of reasons that I don't want to get into, but you can go ahead and look up Kendrick Perkins and Joel Embiid's MVP case if you guys are really interested in what he had to say. But it ultimately changed the complete it completely changed the outcome of who was supposed to win the MVP that year. Like Jokic was ranked number one, the favorite in winning MVP in every single poll. And then once Kendrick Perkins said what he said, then it flipped and then Joel Embiid ended up being the favorite in every single poll. And I'm just like, no, should not happen. Jokic was robbed that year. He should be standing on four straight MVPs right now, but he's not. And in the finals matchup, he was actually, I actually do think that this finals matchup is going to happen. So I do agree with Dwight. It was a, he predicted a Boston versus Denver matchup. However, he predicts that the Boston Celtics would repeat with Jalen Brown winning the finals MVP. And I don't agree with that at all, because mainly because of Jason Tatum's opinions on how he knew he was going to win in the postseason. I do have another episode up where it's um, Jason Tatum talking about how he knew he was going to win the postseason, if you guys are interested in looking at that video. But Jason Tatum essentially said that once the Denver Nuggets were eliminated, he knew that the Boston Celtics would end up winning in that matchup because of, in whatever matchup the, the finals would be, because he felt that the Denver Nuggets were a much more difficult matchup compared to every other team in the Western Conference. And that ultimate, once they got eliminated, Jason Tatum felt like that his team was going to win in the finals in the end. And... Excuse me. I don't think that the Celtics are going to end up repeating if this is their specific finals matchup. And if they go up against Denver, I think Denver is going to close them out in about six games, I'd say. But mainly because of Jokic and also because they do have good enough matchups against all of their other players. I mean, I don't really think... Chris Epps could probably slow down Jokic, but it's also it's also like almost impossible to slow down Jokic. I mean, Rudy Gobert got 40 points dropped on him in Game 6, I believe. and Well, not in Game 6, in Game 5, I think it was. And it, it was a very, it was a very, like, if the Defensive Player of the Year couldn't slow down um, Jokic in one game, or, like, in a, in a few games, imagine what Chris Stapps is going to do matched up against um, Jokic. I don't think that's a very good matchup that the Celtics look forward to. Not to mention when they sub out... Chris Stapps for somebody like Al Horford, who's relatively old, like one of the oldest players in the league. And since he's old, he's going to be rather slow on his feet. And on the defensive side, he could be a liability against somebody like Jokic. But aside from that, I mean, I do think that the finals matchup is much more reasonable than Devin Booker's finals matchup, where it was his team against the um, Boston Celtics. But again, to Devin Booker's credit, you'd want Devin Booker to say that his team is going to make the finals, and you want him to say that Kevin Durant is going to win the MVP. So while I, while there's obvious bias, I think you know it's the right kind of bias. And maybe don't take an opinion from somebody who's currently on an NBA team right now, because you know that they're going to have some, um, some sort of bias. Now, There were also some other celebrities that they mentioned. I mean, Logan Paul and Duke Dennis were also mentioned in this. I'm not going to talk about that at all because not only are we out of time, but it has nothing to do with them. It does. They don't have anything to do with basketball. And yeah, they do have opinions. If you're interested in their opinions, you can look at the post on House of Highlights. But aside from that, that's all that I have for this second segment. So now we will go ahead and go into the third segment where I do a quick recap of the preseason games. And I just go ahead and list off the scores and I go ahead and list off some of the key players in these matchups. So I'll be right back after this short break. Be sure to stay tuned. 
Looking for your daily fix of sports talk without having to pay for it? GSMC Sports Network is available on YouTube. Just search GSMC Sports Network. Get your fix of daily sports talk shows on YouTube absolutely free. NFL, college football, NBA, MLB, MMA, UFC, fantasy football, and so much more. GSMC Sports Network has shows running all day long with new sports shows starting every two hours. Just like on your favorite cable sports channel, except GSMC Sports Network is absolutely free. Just search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube to catch one of your new favorite shows, like the GSMC College Football Podcast, Chip Shot Football Podcast, Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, GSMC Basketball Podcast, and so many more. Check it out for yourself. GSMC Sports Network, now available on YouTube absolutely free. Search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube right now.